Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free and provides a report with solutions based on over 650 million vehicle scans verified by ASE certified master technicians. And if you need help, we can recommend a shop for you. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. This is the Washington Times front page for Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser and Metropolitan Police leaders have unveiled a new 24-hour surveillance camera hub to help fight crime in the nation's capital. Matt Delaney reports officials say it's already helping to solve street crimes that plagued the district last year. The high-tech center, comprised of hundreds of cameras with plans to add up to 600 more, will serve what Police Chief Pamela Smith said will be the epicenter of how MPD responds to crimes. Early returns are promising for the center, which has been operating at near 100% capacity since February. Smith said investigators inside police headquarters helped patrol officers catch two robbery suspects Friday in Petworth. Remote work is leaving office space empty and depressing property values in downtowns nationwide. Tom Howe reports many companies allowed workers to stay at home or split their schedules during the pandemic. At the same time, in an effort to tame inflation, the Federal Reserve raised interest rates to the highest point in decades, which has made it difficult to refinance distressed loans on skyscrapers in city centers. The office sector set a vacancy record of 19.8% in the first quarter of 2024, according to Moody's, more than historic peaks of 19.3% in 1986 and 1991. Tenants might not need as much space when leases expire, making large buildings less desirable. Federal and local officials aren't worried, however. They're pushing plans to convert office space into much-needed housing and to make downtown safer and more attractive. President Biden will welcome two key Asian allies, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, and Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to the White House this week. Andrew Salmon reports the meetings with the leaders will likely feature China as the main topic. The three are also expected to discuss multiple issues, space exploration, renewable technologies, and computer chip supply chains among them, but the unsettled security environment in East Asia looms large over the discussions. Marcos and Biden are also expected to address rumored Pentagon plans to build a base on a highly strategic island close to Taiwan. Former President Trump has decided against campaigning for a federal abortion ban, supporting leaving the matter up to each state. Susan Fericcio reports Trump has waxed and waned on the topic, recently signaling he was ready to endorse a 15-week limit on abortion, but ultimately decided not to get behind any federal involvement. In a video posted to his social media site, the former president also called for exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. A number of Republican-led legislatures and governors have imposed strict limits on the practice since a Supreme Court decision nearly two years ago that overturned Roe v. Wade. Democrats are hoping to make abortion a pivotal issue against Republicans, especially in Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and other swing states. And finally, the Vatican says that surrogacy is a grave violation of human dignity along with gender transition surgery. In a 20-page document, Mark Kellner reports the Catholic Church's doctrine office reiterated Pope Francis's opposition to surrogacy, which he stated earlier this year while addressing foreign diplomats. The church says the practice violates the dignity of the child because that child has the right to have a fully human origin that is not artificially induced. It also claims it violates a woman's dignity because she becomes a mere means subservient to the arbitrary gain or desire of others. As for gender transition, the document says that desiring a personal self-determination as gender theory prescribes amounts to a concession to the age-old temptation to make oneself God. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and find us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.